Hey, it's Brett here, Mountain Bike More, and I'm here at Santiago Oaks. More specifically, I'm gonna go ride chutes. Yeah, if you didn't know, there's two chutes. And make sure, if you're like me, the first time you go, make sure you know the difference. Because one of them's a beginner intermediate trail, the other one's advanced. And you'll know right away um, which one's which when you look at them. Uh, but the intermediate trail is called chutes. It's an up and a down. Chutes Ridgeline is the advanced trail. They start at the same place at the bottom. They're almost starting at the same place at the top. I hope you like this. Mountain bike more. All right, so to get to shoots from the bottom, I'm just leaving uh, parking lot B at Irvine Park. Here's a aid station, it says Horseshoe Loop. And we're gonna go looking for Roadrunner Loop. It's just in here a little bit, and it's easy to make missed turns, but it doesn't take too long to figure out how to find chutes. Pretty much everything runs into chutes over here. So we'll get there. And here we are, Roadrunner Loop. So this is a cool little way to get there, about three to five minutes, and we'll be at the bottom of the chutes. And then here's a scary log to play on. Faster is easier. Cool thing about this log is you can just play here. You don't lose anything, and it's quick and easy. And the more you do it, the easier it becomes. It's quick and easy. And the more you do it. Chutes is a two-way trail. It's a beginner intermediate. Bit of a climb, but coming down, it's pretty smooth and fun. Most people really enjoy it, even more advanced riders, just because of the cool flow that there is. But you do have to be careful because a lot of us like shoots it up. I find it way more enjoyable than going around the other way. As we pedal up shoots, we come across an intersection with shoots ridgeline, so you can kind of check it out on your way up. You can see both sides of the trail. It's pretty cool right here. Pedaling up shoots, pretty views, fairly intermediate climb. Uh, not easy climb, but it's not going to put you completely out if you're in shape. If you're a beginner, you might have to hike a section or two. Uh, currently, there's quite a bit of plant life. Normally, it's pretty dry around here. Still, you get nice views. And every once in a while, you're going to have these tight switchbacks. So here comes one. They can be a challenge up and a challenge down. So let's see if I can make this one up. Start wide, make the corner, there we go. So that's about it for shoots on the way up. All right, so from Barham Ridge, here's shoots. It's gonna be a nice flow, barely need to pedal. There's some bumps here and there, but not much. And you just feel it go. You gotta watch out for a couple switchbacks. I like this one, it's pretty tight. Try not to skid them. Stay wide if you can, it'll help, just like coming up. Here's another one. And that's pretty much what you're gonna do all the way down on shoots. It's just a nice cruise, and down you go. And then this is where it meets up again with shoots ridgeline, the other shoots.
All right, here we go. The entrance looks a little gnarly, especially this part right here. Drop, drop, or oh, you can roll them. All right here. Drop, drop, or oh, you can roll them. And then you have some berms that get steep. And then here comes two jumps. Oh. I don't know if I burnt my tire or what back there, but we're going for it. The right is a jump with a gap. Left is a roll. Oh. And now we have a little pedal. Catch your breath, check your bike if you want. This thing's a down country bike, so it's not really meant for this advanced trail. This is the chute ridgeline side, it's the advanced side. The other side is the chute side, but most of us call it chutes and chutes. So if you're riding with someone new, you might want to specify chutes ridgeline or chutes. And there's a couple connectors, so new new parts. All right, so that was the top part, short and quick. Here's the bottom part, can be loose. Woo! Kind of rocky, loose rocks. Little pucker factor there. Little jump I missed. That was optional, but super fun. Here's the final little drops. And then, all right, here we go. Here's the final little drops. And up here, I don't know if I want to hit the jump with my tire. Oh well, I'm trying. Oh, you don't have to hit that thing. Smooth as butter. Woo! That thing needed more speed. And now he's burning it. Ah, don't go off. That was a little close. Oh, that one's bigger than I thought. I should have popped it. That one I did pop. And that's shoots ridgeline. So, shoots up, shoots down. Technically, shoots ridgeline down. I guarantee you're gonna like shoots. For me, shoots ridgeline is now one of my favorite trails. But when I started, and I first came to Santiago Oaks, I wasn't ready for it. I looked at it and I wanted to try it, but I wasn't quite ready. But I got there and now Chutes Ridge Line's my trail. Chutes though, at that time, was epic because it just flows and goes and goes and goes. So Chutes is a great trail. Just make sure when you're riding it, you know which one you're on and know which one your buddies are on as well. They do crisscross so you can go separate ways. They're great for filming because you can crisscross and, and stop and get photos. So I guarantee you're gonna like it. As always, leave me comments, yell more, and subscribe. Mountain bike more. Ride more. Subscribe. Laugh more. Like, crash more, comment. Crash more. Comment.